Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with another video using the December kits. I'm also going to use this little glassine bag that came, um, some of the goodies came in. I have a bunch of scraps left from the last layout I did, and they were already cut. So I just decided to kind of go with the size in which they were cut. I trimmed them up a little bit, but I didn't measure out to get like six perfect, you know, size, you know, same sized little cards here or anything like that. I just kind of went with the way that they were and some are a little bit wider, some are a little bit taller, but I like the way that that looks. So I'm also going to add some of these strips to the top and bottom of the layout. And these are like branding strips are from the pattern papers are little extra strips of paper. And I'm also going to add a, build a bunch of layers behind the photograph using the, so some pattern paper and that glassing bag. And I will also fold up some vellum and put it inside the glassing bag so that there's a little bit of height um, underneath the picture. And I'm gonna trim some edges and kind of add some detail. So I'm gonna do that here for just a minute. Okay, so now that I have my like focal point all done, I'm going to work on adding some paper strips to the top and bottom of the layout. And I'm just using a piece of wax paper so I don't get glue all over my um, desk. And then I'm going to adhere um, the six different patterns. And this layout, like, um, the video stops because I ran out of memory, but you'll see at the end that it changes quite a bit. Like, I changed some of the pattern papers and... Um, and some of the embellishments out. And I'll talk about that um, when I show the final photographs at the end of the video. And I, I really love these Amy Tan um, Tangerine rub-ons, so I'm going to put one just about on every card, either like on top of the card or underneath it or something like that, just to add a little bit of um, detail to the layout. They're super fun. I decided to zoom out there so that you could actually see what I was doing. So I'm going to apply all of these different um, rub-ons. At this point, I'm just going through the kit and um, looking at all of the different um, ephemera and wood veneer pieces and everything and kind of laying them out. And then I decided I wanted to add some stitching detail to the layers of pattern paper at the bottom and the top. So I'm going to use this kit that comes in one of the add-ons and just do some of the little plus signs. And I'll kind of show you here how exactly to do that and also how I stitch them.
you can see how super easy that is. So here's where the video, I do the top also, here's where the video cuts off. And I didn't finish with my title or anything. So, oh, maybe it doesn't cut off. I'm going to do a little bit more embellishing, I guess. The title that you're going to see is For Like Ever, but I end up changing that to the wood grain thickers that say so much love. So you'll see at the end that I did change that title. And I really liked the For Like Ever title, but it just, I don't know, something about it just didn't work. I, now in hindsight, looking at it, I probably should have left it because I do really like the way that it looks. I ended up changing out some of the pattern papers because I, above the do, I stitched the heart with the do in it. I stitched the letter I from the stitching template that we get, but it doesn't really look like an I it, when it's by itself. So I ended up changing that card out. I put the same pattern paper back, but I just um, put the heart with a little enamel dot or something on it, I think is what I did. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of embellishing and then I will be back to explain the final pictures. <laughs> So I just wanted to tell you I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing here. Um, I love these wood veneer, but I wanted them to be like kind of whitewashed. So I'm taking that Hero Arts pigment ink that we got in one of the kits and past kits and using a rag and kind of whitewashing it. So now is where the video actually cuts off. You can see here in the final pictures that I did change a few things. I added some enamel dots from past kits just because I felt like it needed a little more detail and also some of that Teresa Collins chipboard. So this is the final layout. I hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all real soon. Have a great holiday, too, if I don't talk to you before then.